Hello everyone, this is a supplementary video for the two-way minecart booster in order to try and help those who are having trouble using it. In order to load the booster, we will place the minecart on the flat straight track just below the uphill piece. When pushing the cart, try to stay on the side opposite of where the minecart will actually end up. In this case, we will go on the left side. Now push the cart until you're about halfway through the uphill track. Let's try it again. On the right side this time. And once more. If you push the cart too far, it may end up misaligned. If you push the cart from too far away, the cart may jump ahead of you, slow down, and get caught on the edge. To load the second design, stay off center to the left or right, depending on which way you're facing. Now place the cart on this uphill track, and as it comes towards you, jump forward and push the cart. The alternative method to loading either booster is to leave the back block on, place the cart on this top track, and then give it a little nudge. Keep in mind that when using this booster, that it is a modified minecart magazine, and that the oncoming cart needs to be going fast enough to push this cart onto the track without slowing down. Otherwise, it might not boost or reset properly. If you want to use the booster from a cold start, leave at least one space free between the booster and the main cart. Now push the cart until you are about halfway through the next track and then hop in. If you don't push the cart far enough for a cold start, you'll end up with a weaker boost that although will be the same speed, it won't last as long. Of course, this is much easier to do with the second design because you can just push the cart as far as you can before hopping in. The best use for this booster is to have a traditional booster on either end of your railway and use two-way boosters as you need them. When placing multiple boosters on a rail line, Make sure to place the booster at a point before the main cart starts to slow down. I cannot stress this enough. This booster is designed to retain full speed, not speed you up after you have slowed down. Generally, this booster style is meant for player-occupied carts, since empty carts tend to lose speed quickly, and it might not be fast enough to push the cart onto the booster track and begin boosting. Either that or it will slow down as it goes around the loop. So you may be better off using a standard booster for empty carts. The distances covered by this booster is essentially the same as a standard booster. For a length of 4 tracks, it's approximately 315 blocks. 5 tracks, approximately 400. 6 tracks, 540. 7 tracks, 630. And 8 tracks, 765. However, these are for ideal conditions such as this flat loop and will be much different in real applications. The point is, if you want a longer lasting boost, make sure to lengthen your tracks. Be careful when building corner rails next to blocks. If the cart was coming from this direction, this block would actually slow it down. It might not be noticeable until you've hit a bunch of corners like this. To quickly demonstrate this, I've created a diagonal track with a block in each of the affected corners. This will slow down a fully boosted cart to a complete crawl. Now 
Now we will try the same track without any of the blocks. For the last segment of this video, I will go through a railway that's approximately 2,000 tracks using only two-way boosters. Feel free to skip this.
And that's it for this video. I hope this helps you understand and successfully use the two-way booster. Good luck and thanks for watching.